report. Now on matters related to COVID-19, Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs Cabinet Secretary Professor Margaret Kobier has raised concern over increased cases of gender-based violence in the wake of coronavirus outbreak. Kobier says women remain vulnerable to exploitation in times of crisis, adding that there remains a need to focus on the unique challenges in responding to COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking during a webinar organized by Eco Network Africa to discuss the importance of implementing the recommendations of the Common Women's Agenda, especially in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs Cabinet Secretary Professor Margaret Kobia pointed out that cases of gender-based violence are on the rise in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak. We have seen an increased domestic uh, violence, both physical, emotional, and we have seen it is affecting both genders. About 90% of the women are, are reporting the violence and about 10% of the men. Kobe is saying there is need to come up with responsive community strategies to break the worrying cycle of violence. Kobia, however, says the COVID-19 pandemic is presenting an opportunity to reflect and safeguard gains made in protecting the rights of women. All the women movement, all the women organization, the ministry, the public, the private sector need to come together and find all the gains that we have made. May it be in women leadership and decision making, women in economic empowerment, peace and security. There are some gains that they are not eroded. While citing the example of the Kitui County Textile Center spearheaded by Governor Charity Ngilu, which has provided employment opportunities for a majority of women, calls were also made to support women through financial empowerment and awareness on technological advancements. Kikotech today employs about 500 young people, not to mention about their families, and 80% um, of these are young women who are now making a living out of this, out of what we do every day. As more and more of the economy moves onto a completely digital platform, we have some businesses refusing to take cash um, as payment, seeing it as a vector of disease. And so more and more of the economy is becoming completely digital. We have to be so careful globally that women are not left behind. And we will also attend or begin dialoguing with um, with the media, the local media, so that the local, the women in local areas can also receive this, as well as participating and engaging people like Governor Gilo. Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju using the platform to challenge women not to leave men behind in efforts to achieve gender parity. We must bring more men on board so that anytime you think of dealing with gender issues, you're not only thinking of so and so and so and so. More men have to be brought in. Uh, they have to be educated. For Channel One News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.